Hello, hello. Here we are at day six of religion versus spirituality. And today I want to talk about texts as in the Bible or books. And uh, there's something that needs to be said first, that when we go and look for history, his story or her story, we're looking for, um, we're looking for truth, really, what's true for us. And so I've learned over the time that quite often one does not go back far enough. So you have to dig as far as you can. And there's very few people that actually do this. And as um, we've connected with a few people that do, it gives us a greater understanding of exactly where things started to happen and how it was created. And we're going back to the very beginning of creation. And then along as time, as things get retold, it, it is often done uh, to the benefit of those creating it. I hope that makes sense. And so let's take the Bible, for example. There's many texts missing from the Bible, from the original. And you can go and look at hermetics, and you can look at um, ancient uh, Vedic uh, information. So when you go back to the beginning of each of these, there's actually in Buddhism, there's a very common story and theme. They're all very, very similar. And so then you know you've kind of hit that base point. And so, again, we, we bring up things like, you know, things that were inserted into the Bible to have us looking outside of ourselves again. And so religion is that. It's about looking outside of yourself. It's about following a text that's been created. But is it all the truth? You might want to ask yourself, there's a lot of truth in there. There's a lot of good in there. I'm, I've got no judgment, again, as that. But I just really want you to encourage you to think about this. Is the truth all there? Is it true for you? Is is it does it feel right to you what you're being asked to do and you're, what you're being told? And then on the spirituality side, yes, you can get guidance from ancient texts, but quite often it's it's a knowing. It's a knowing from inside as you go through this process and you spend time with self, whether it be in meditation, active meditation, <clears throat> and you you dig deeper into who you are and what 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 you are. <laughs> you start to learn that, oh, it's actually within me. The answer is within me for everything because how does something make me feel? And so then quite often texts aren't needed at all because we each have an individual, like our fingerprint, frequency, um, genetic makeup that carries our ancestors within. So there's a lot of history there or her story there that is in our DNA. And so as we unlock that, we don't need to look outside of ourselves as much anymore. And so it's those other people that are guiding, that are triggering us to remember things. Or you read something and you're like, oh, yes, that's true. You don't know how, you just know. And so that's clear cognizant, by the way. And that's one of the uh, assets we have besides the five uh, senses that we've been given. I, uh, I digress. <laughs> so whether you're in spirituality or whether you're in religion and maybe you're starting to question, this is the beautiful bridge of this. There's no right or wrong. Everything just is, and there's no negative or positive in my opinion, because it just is, because everything is an experience, an expression, and a um, there's no right or wrong decision. So people get caught up in trying to make it the right decision. Even though you may have made a wrong decision, it's still a decision, and it's still something to learn. So there is no right or wrong, and it, it's the same with with whether or not you're in religion or spiritual, there is no right or wrong. It just is. But the more you start to dig into who you are, the more, at least for me, I find the truth of me. And therefore um, my mission in this time is to help the conscious collective be guided to be that beacon of light for others to realize that they too have a star within them to be ignited and to shine as bright as they can to help uplift the collective consciousness, but also to be a beacon for others to, who are also seeking. They're seeking something that they're, they're, they're confused because things don't make sense anymore. The world isn't what I thought it was. What is going on? What is go why are people like this, right? So you, you start to question and that's the beauty. You're questioning. Wonderful. Now what? You start the seeking process and just anybody that's um, having you seek deeply outside of yourself, I, I question. So we always want to give you the guidance to seek within. And so that's my, my mission in this time is to help those souls ready to explore themselves, maybe break through some beliefs and patterning. 
and find the deep connection within themselves. So again, it's Tanya with Adventures for Connection. Uh, we've got a whole new website coming, very excited, many teachers to help you be ignited because everyone has a different frequency and I'm about a collective. I'm not about me. So when we go from the me to the we, the world changes. And if everything was operating from the heart and what would love do in this case, and love is not um, an emotion, it's a state of being. So if you're operating from love and your heart is open and you've expanded, and even though things may mm, come to you as like, oh, I wouldn't have done that. That's okay. You don't have to take on somebody else's opinion of you because somebody else's opinion is not, a, it's not within your control. You only get to control you. If this resonated with you today. Please share below what resonated and what are your beliefs? Where are you at in this life at this time? I'd really love to hear from you. And remember, we are offering a two for one special for the month of March. And we would love to hear from you. It's on the website. Book one session to get the second one for free. Have a beautiful day. Um, make some magic today.